Hey guys, and welcome back to our Valerian Let's Play. Now, I know I've been away for a while, and I have to apologize again. Um, my neighbor was doing construction work, and then, as you saw before in my update, I became a very ill, and my voice was completely gone. So that was a big problem, because my job, obviously, is to teach English, so I need to talk all the time. And so I couldn't do this for a while, because my voice was so horrible, and I couldn't risk my voice getting worse. Um, as you can hear, it's much better now. Hopefully it will stay this way and we'll have to wait and see. But it's not perfect yet. It's not completely back to normal, but who cares? I need to get back to this, so we are back. Now, obviously, last time we took over the Iron Throne, we are the Valerians. Due to some successful marriages we had and the war we fought in, we were able to get ourselves onto the Iron Throne as Jacaris. So it's gone quite well. Obviously, Jacaris, though, is stressed, chaste, paranoid, honourable, wroth, and humble. He's a knight. We have a dragon, our little Vermax. Ah, good little Vermax. He's not the strongest. He's only 22, um, but he's only 26. So he's a very young dragon. We have one son uh, who's ugly, sadly for us. We are married to the paramount Aaron of the Vale, and she is pregnant, but ill. But then again, if she does die, our son will inherit the veil. So I'd like her to have the baby first. And then if she died, that wouldn't be too bad. Then we could just marry someone else. So it wouldn't be too bad. And we're only 27. So we could be the new Walder of the Crossing. A bit like Walder Frey. We could just marry lots of people. But yeah, last time I asked you guys, what should we do next? We now have the Iron Throne. And there are still some people who call us... The not the real king, not the real dynasty. We are not Targaryen. We are Valerian. We may be High Valerian, but we came and we did not come on dragons. We do have dragons now, though, so I mean, eh, you know. But yeah, so we're going to try and convince people that we are the true rulers of the Iron Throne. Now, I want to take Tyrosh, Maya, and Lys because they tried their support the usurper on the throne who tried to take the Iron Throne before, the Targaryen in the war. So we should pay them back, because I am wroth. So we should pay them back and attack these guys. But before that, I think I'm going to attack the Summer Islands. I was listening to what you guys were saying, and a lot of you said Summer Islands. And I quite like the idea of taking the Summer Islands, and then we could use this as a base. So we can use this as a base to attack places like Volantis and Lys, because I may, after I take these three and the Summer Islands, I'll probably then attack Volantis and come towards Valeria. We'll have to wait and see. That's what I'm thinking. It could change, though, as we go along, uh, but that is what Jacaris wants to do. He wants to prove that Valerians are just as powerful as Targaryens. We are worthy of the throne. So we're going to attack the Summer Islands next. Once we're ready, um, Probably very soon though. I think we're pretty much okay to attack them. I'll go over that in a second and then we'll attack these three and we'll see what happens from there. But most likely we'll head uh, east towards Valeria in the lands of the long summer. But who knows where it'll end. Maybe we'll take over the whole world. Though I don't think this Let's Play will last too long due to the fact they've released a new update. So I would love to update because obviously there's lots of bugs in this and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll go over that later. I'll talk about stuff later. So at the moment in the Iron Throne, we're doing okay. We have a nice little council. Uh, we've got the Starks, the Greyjoys. And a lot of people seem to be okay with us. The Starks seem to like us. The only problem we really have is the Martells. Oberyn Martell. Now, obviously, we recently conquered the Martells. So they don't particularly like us. And he's managed to convince my brother and my grandmother to help him. And their dragons. So who knows, we could have a war very soon. Uh, vassals might revolt, obviously we have them. Uh, Frets, Oberyn, 23%. We're probably going to need to try and make him a friend. So that is probably my next task. We're, we're going to try and make him a friend and also attack the Summer Islands. We have prisoners, we still have Mela, uh, my cousin, the son of the usurper of the throne, Aegon Targaryen. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to keep him in jail because I'm paranoid. I don't want to let him go. Um, he may try and claim my throne. And also, hopefully, that will mean his father will be good. Because he's still out there. He's still 
in Old Town. I could arrest him, but as long as we have his son, I think he'll be good. As long as we have his son, he'll be okay. And then we have Diana, my aunt, who tried to take the throne by capturing one of the strongest dragons. But sadly, her dragon died, was slain by Caraxes in personal combat. And I could let her go. I am an honorable, you know, humble guy, and she is family, but I'm paranoid. I would probably exile her most likely, but we're going to leave her for now, and we're stressed. We're too stressed to deal with that. We're too paranoid at the moment. So once maybe I lose the stress, I'll probably exile her. But until then, we'll leave her in jail for now to think about what she's done. Let's let time go by. So, with the blood of Valeria happen to us, what I'll probably do actually now is I'm going to make relations better. Winterfell. We have good relations with Winterfell, so how about you go to Dawn? Ooh, we have a better person. Actually, my uncle is a better person than you. That makes sense. We can trust my uncle. He's Valerian. And soon he could marry Tyrell, who could be the person to inherit it if her brother dies. So he's got a good little marriage there. So we're in a really good position right now. Uh, Master Ronald. Let's check. Has River has River Run gone to... Nope. Still... Held by Elmo. Kermit must wait. Poor Kermit. I wonder if there's a Miss Piggy. You couldn't really call a cow to Miss Piggy and get away with it though in the game, could you, I guess? Okay, not much going on there. So what I'm probably going to do actually is... I'm probably just going to declare war on the Summer Islands. Let's look how many men we got. So I have 6,000 men myself and 210,000 men. Okay. That could be a problem. 6,000 men is not enough. 210,000 could be enough. But it depends on whether they'll all support me. My prisoner, Dana Valerian, is complaining about her dark cell. Let her rot. Very well, I shall be merciful. Uh, suit um, suitable, how about the oblit? Um, let's be merciful. Let's be nice. Okay. He had a daughter. It's perfect. So you've now had a daughter, Camilla. That's nice. Okay, let's change our ambition then. So we have a daughter and a son. Adopt a lifestyle, have five children, improve learning, improve intrigue, improve stewardship, improve diplomacy. Let's uh, improve diplomacy, I think he'll go for. And yeah, so I could... Ooh, and the Summer Islands are in a bit of trouble. Interesting. I kind of want to take over the whole of the Summer Islands. I don't really want it to be at war. Oh no, wait. They're not at war. Okay, so the whole Summer Islands are completely torn apart. Uh, and it's because actually I'm on uh, direct vassals, that's why. Wow, that was that was dumb. That was very, very dumb. I am slightly embarrassed. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's 20,000 men. Yeah, we could easily defeat 20,000 men. All I'd need probably is one Paramount to be on my side. And at least someone with an army. So we could attack the Summer Islands right now. Let's have a look. Declare war, dragon conquest. So because we have dragon, we have the right to conquer anything we want. It's right conquest by virtue of the fact that they are a dragon rider. <laughs> That's a bit of a weird right, isn't it? I guess no one can stop you. That's kind of why. Righteous imprisonment. Uh, we'll leave you for now. So shall I attack the Summer Islands right now? It could help unite our lands. Yeah, let's, let's use the war to distract our people. We're going to declare on the Summer Islands to distract our people about what is happening back home. So we get them, get them to forget about the Targaryens. And most people seem to like me, so I think most will come and help. We'll have a look. Declare war. Dragon conquest. Okay, let's see who will help me. Okay. Your grace, I see no point in conflict with you and your dragon. I hereby surrender and will swear to you my fealty forthwith. Thank you very much, King Quasdo of the Summer Islanders, called Mo. Awesome, wow, okay. <laughs> I didn't even need to do anything. He is wise. You are very good, sir. So we now have the Summer Islands. The Summer Islands are still 
technically a crown. Can we not change it? I wonder, like, if you can... Oh, okay, what's this? Empire of the Summer Sea. Ooh. Empire of the Summer Sea. I probably shouldn't make this, though, because this is a similar title to my own. So there's not much point, and I want the Iron Throne as my empire, really. So there's not really much point doing that. Because if someone was to take it, it just creates another title for people to fight over. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So now we have the Summer Islands. Far easier than I actually thought it would be. Does that give me any new people? Nope. Okay, let's just go let time go by. Ah, he's got really good diplomacy there. Oh, and what is this? Lord Paramount Dalton the Reckoning declared war against the tyranny of King Jacarys of the Iron Throne. What? What are you doing? Lord Paramount Cragen is no longer Master at Arms. She will honour her obligations of our alliance. Thank you. Thank you, Baratheon. He will honour his allegiance. Thank you, Riverlands. Thank you, Lannisters. Thank you, Vale. Thank you, Summer Islands. Thank you, Starks. Okay, it looks like almost everyone has come to support me. Uh, has revolted against me, citing evidence of plans to have him arrested and banished. This is undoubtedly the plot of one of my enemies seeking to undermine my power. You stupid idiot. Dalton, are you kidding me? There's there's nothing. There's no plot. What's wrong with him? This has made my guy angry. My guy is wrath. He's angry that Dalton would fall for such a thing. And also now I'm even more paranoid. Someone has got to him. Someone has managed to get to him. Okay, Master at Arms for now then. Uh, Sir Hugh, I guess. You can train my children. And Master Whispers. I guess, Davosh, you like me, so it's better than nothing. And we'll just scheme for now. Okay, that's everyone. And we have a lot more money. Ah, and the Martells shall join us. So everyone has joined us in the war against the Greyjoys. The Greyjoys stand no chance. You are a fool, Greyjoy. What is wrong with you? Rebel leader, he's maimed, he's brave though. Diligent, ruthless, patient, and proud. And he's a reaver. And his wife is a farwind. Okay. A lot of children, but most of them seem to have died. Free stillborn. And he's a concubine. Who's a roller. <laughs> okay. Salt wife. Okay. Good for you. So, i probably got not going to need to do much, actually. Because everyone's against him. There's no way he can win this war. I'm sorry about if there's any noise in the background. One of my neighbours is doing construction work. And I really have to apologise about that. Kingdom of the Iron Throne. Okay, so this should be a short war. I can't see them winning. I love the fact I have the Summer Islands now, though. That's very good. King Quasdor. So Mo. So we've got to remember the family Mo. They are our people in the Summer Islands. Dangerous faction. Crown Loyalists. That's good. We want Crown Loyalists. Okay, got to watch out for Greyjoy ships. Greyjoy ships could come all the way around to King's Landing, which is what they tend to do. I probably should just call some men. The 6,000 men probably wouldn't be enough. We've got 54,000 from the, uh, the Reach. The Reach seem to be having their own troubles. Okay, I should probably call my own men. Just in case. So we'll call all our men to here. Just in case they do manage to get to King's Landing. We can't let them take King's Landing. You guys can go to... Uh, where's... Yeah... Go to the Valerian. Is he High Lord or just a Lord? He's just a Lord. So what tiles do I have? Oh, I have the High Lordship of Dragon. I still have Dragonstone as well. I should probably get rid of Dragonstone. We'll see what happens. I'll probably give my brother Dragonstone. That actually might be good. I could give my brother Dragonstone. That would probably keep him happy. Yeah, we should give him Dragonstone. Let's go give him Dragonstone. But I can't give him Dragonstone. Okay. Well, that that problem's solved then, I guess. I can't do anything about that. Okay, here they come. There could be 
How many men could be on that? I'm not sure. 14,000 maybe. Okay, so he's got 8,000 men. Okay. If we send these guys the help, that should be fine. I'm not going to lead the battle though. I'm paranoid. Someone's trying to get me killed. Someone is trying to have me killed and undermine me. So we're going to send Adam, our great knight of Valerian. He will be the sword of the Valerians. Very great knight. Adam is awesome, my uncle. Uh, we have Ulf. You can go as well. And I guess Bela. All have dragons. So this should be made short work. And, oh, there seems to be more men. Maybe he's tricked me. Uh, you go as well. The battle here. And it looks as though victory's mine. The Battle of Woodmer. And they have been defeated. Let's put them all together then. So where are you heading? Bywater. So all escape into Bywater. And we've managed to stop them. Thanks to our army coming in from the other side. That's basically them done. There's another ship coming for 155 ships, but I think they're basically done. The percentage is so high for us at the moment. And they're now going to Woodmere. And we have some more men coming, but I don't think they'll have enough. Prince Damon of the King's Guard. How can you be a prince of the King's Guard? Oh yes, okay, yeah. It was the guy who used to be married to my mother. That's it. Okay, and they're going to Rosby, it looks like. Okay, how about you guys then, our second army? You will be led by Jehera. Jaheen or whatever her name is. I didn't really read it to be honest. And Aegon. Okay, we've got the Starks coming down to help. This is just a complete bloodbath. The Greyjoys have sailed in, hoping they can try and take King's Landing. Oh, and it looks as though uh, he died. What a fool. What a fool. What was he thinking? How was he manipulated? I don't know what has happened lately. No matter what my lover does, I feel irritated, and I've actually started to avoid her. Our relationship brings me only irritation. It is as if we have grown apart. I am no longer in love with you, Jane. I'm sorry. You will no longer make me feel special, I guess. Let's see what happened to him then. Died in battle against Aegon Targaryen. So Aegon Targaryen was able to kill Dalton the Red Kraken. You fool. What were you thinking? Which one's Aegon Targaryen? Is it this one? Yep. So Prince Aegon Targaryen. He died from Blackfire. Probably cut in half by Blackfire and Stormcloud. Another very young dragon, actually. So let's have a look. Who is the new young prince or power mount? He's 10 years old. He is uh, Harren II, gregarious, charitable, patient, envious, and craven. Hmm. Not like his father at all. And where are they heading to? Duskendale. We should probably finish this war off. Not much point in keeping this war going. This war is all put over. Who could have done this though? I'm suspecting it's the Martells. The Martells have probably tricked him somehow. And then betrayed him. I'll honour my allegiance. Ah, thank you Saltcliffe. We'll remember this. So the family of Saltcliffe decided to betray their lord. Good for you, Ironborn. Excellent. You're a smart man. We trust you now. This is what I like about the role plays. You can remember certain characters. And I can award them, maybe. So if I take it away from the Grey Joys, maybe I give it to them. Ismaya is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with my wayward ward? How about a pat on the head? Um, so I am honourable, so it's a strap for her. 